Okay, so now we are ready to start worrying about what's going on in the kitchen right there. So we're going to start just by putting in a 24 inch uh, countertop right there. So let's just do that right away. We will come in here. Oops, looks like we missed that little bit. So I'm going to click trim. Trim and select that as a cutting edge. That is a cutting edge. Right click and get that part right there. All right, so now we should be good. All right, so now we'll come up here and we're going to offset 24 inches for the countertop, which will be that right there and this right here. Fill it with the radius set to zero. Should go from here to here. All right, so now we've got a countertop in here. Now there's a couple other things um, that we do notice in here that there's a pantry that is uh, four foot six down. So let's go ahead and add that. So um, we'll come in here, offset four foot six inches, and that'll put that wall in there. I'm going to use this wall and that wall um, to kind of help me here a little bit just to kind of speed things up, I think that wall and actually you know what I'll do I'll use that one wall here come down here and do that uh, and then I'll just use the mirror command to get the other wall by going like that right click and enter so I've got that kind of in there let's see does it tell us how far out this way it goes um, no it doesn't so um, 24 inches goes straight on up here so it's obviously out farther than 24 inches um, so let's look at the refrigerator. Let's let's figure out how to put the refrigerator in here. So we're going to go to Lowe's.com. Lowe's.com. Uh, we're going to put in refrigerator. Refrigerators. And let's pick a, a nice one this time to do something a little different. Um, I don't want to make it too small, but... Uh, um, that's kind of an interesting looking one with two doors there. An ice maker in it would be nice. Um, let's go with that big fridge right here. We'll just This one right here looks good. Let's pick that one. And then you can pick whatever one you want. Just make sure you draw the right one. And we're going to go here to the specifications. And come down and we are looking for... <clears throat> uh, we're looking for the depth and... So it's, let's just stick with this one. So we'll say that the depth, I'm going to write it down on a pad here so I can remember. The depth is 34.75 uh, deep. The width, let's see if there's anything different up here. No, we're going to go back down to the bottom here. The width, it says here the actual width is 35.75. We don't, um, let's just, so we can go with common width here and say it's 36. We could even look at this in the handle. So what we'll do is we'll just say that this whole thing is um, uh, the whole thing is 36 by 36. That'll just make it so that uh, we can fit everything in. So it's a double doored refrigerator. So we'll go here and we're going to make a spot that goes 36 inches that way. We'll go 36 this way, 36 this way. And then go ahead and let that close. We're going to offset one inch this direction here. So that gives us a, an actual door on it. And we'll draw a line that goes down from through the middle of this right there. Um, we might do something like this. Add a circle on it. I'm going to add a circle that looks like that. I'll move this one down this way one inch. One inch probably isn't enough. Um, let's go ahead and move it another inch down this way. And then we can go ahead and mirror it up the other way. And I'm going to click trim, right click, and get rid of that and the, these pieces here. So it shows us where the handle is on that. All right, so that's going to go in this corner here. Move it in place. And uh, we're going to move it once again. We'll move you can click type or you can click move it's like when you click move you can actually type p for previous and it'll grab the last thing you did so then i just have to pick a base point i'm gonna move it down one inch i want one inch clearance there from that wall <clears throat> all right um so then that means we'll offset 
this one inch we get one inch clearance this way and so then we can f do the fillet right click enter oops I want to wait I want to do a fillet my radius is set to zero so I'll just grab that and do that right there all right so now we've got that established this is where the refrigerator is um, we can you know looking at it I think that's kind of close the doors are usually about two inches so I'm going to do a stretch and stretch this part right here I'm going to go back one more inch makes the doors more pronounced so you can see it better when you get zoom out a little bit alright so if that's 36 inches out let's go ahead and um, uh, we'll go ahead and, and offset right here we're going to offset 34 inches to get to where that wall should probably end so I'm going to click fill it and I'll click here and here and right click again repeat the fillet here and here so that tells us where the wall is for that pantry and I think that's probably fair uh, to do that that way um, this wall will actually get extended beyond we'll go up here to the perpendicular there um, offset four inches so this will make it a four inch interior wall fill it Oops, fill it this part right here. And we can trim, right click, get rid of that piece right there. All right. Um, so that works out okay. We can, if we wanted to, offset again, offset two inches. And it probably should because we made up some numbers here um, that we're probably going to want to dimension later. So we'll make that a construction line. So we can dimension that later trim right click get rid of that and that okay all right so now we know what that's uh, how that's been established so we got the refrigerator in there what else do we have in that the so refrigerator this is where the range is uh, oh this will be fun so they have a range right here in the middle of that so let's go ahead and add that let's figure out what the range is first so let's go back to Lowe's and we're going to look at stoves and no no need to go too big i like that one. um well it's a five burner stove let's go back to something a little more traditional um uh, that's a nice stainless steel one five point let's see what happens here let's, let's look at this one all right that looks good so we'll pick this in our stove. The width is 29.875. So we'll just go ahead and say that's 30 inches. And then the depth is 27. Uh, uh, 27.75. Right here is what we're looking at. So we'll go ahead and say that's 28 inches uh, deep. All right. So. We'll go back to our AutoCAD. We're going to draw a line that goes this way, 30. Goes this way, 28. Goes this way, 30. And then C to close. Okay, um, we're going to offset 4 inches right here off the back of this. So that'll be the back of the... the that represents the back portion of the stove right here and then there's going to be four burners on it and we're going to make it relatively simple um, by putting a circle right here we'll just say that it is 10 inches there oops I made it a diameter I mean a radius circle with a diameter of 10 inches there this is simply a representation um, we don't have to do worry too much about it so let's go ahead and copy this uh, like that and we'll copy these again up here like this it's just a representation not that big of a deal so we can go ahead and we're gonna move this whole thing to this midpoint of that right there and then we've got to move that out again so we'll click move previous and we'll go ahead and grab that and go out to shift right click the perpendicular right here 
All right, so then we'll establish that offset one inch again. So we'll go up that way one inch, this way one inch, and we're going to click trim. Use those as cutting edges. Get rid of that line right there in the middle. And I'm just going to grab those grips. Click on that one, grab the grip, bring it back here. Click on this one, grab the grip, and bring it back to there. So now we've got where that's established. So we got countertop here, stove here, countertop um, there. All right, so what's that telling us right there? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do to, to eliminate some confusion here. I'm going to click trim, use those as cutting edges. I'm going to get rid of this and this because we don't need to know that. Well, we know right where that end point is. This is actually going to become, we're going to turn that to a object line. Actually, not an object line. We're going to turn it to a first floor line. And we're going to choose this and this. So that'll become a stair here in a minute. All right. So now let's look at sinks. And we want to look at a dual sink that they have there. Something that looks nice. That looks pretty nice right there. That one's a really nice one. Um, let's go ahead and select that one right there. It's kind of different. You notice how that, that works in there. But we're just looking for basic sizes. We would specify this to the builder later on. So we're talking about uh, an average. The width there is 33. And the length of it is 22. Um, so we'll just kind of draw something like that in there. So we're going to draw a uh, line that goes this way, 33 goes this way 22 33 close um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and move this so it goes from here to the midpoint of that but those never ever sinks never go to the edge of the countertop so when I click move I'll do a window around that or click previous and go this way one inch so now it's positioned here um, I'll offset I'm going to offset the back of the sink there a little bit more, so we'll offset that four inches and go this way four inches. But the wet rest of the way around, um, I'll offset two, so I'll offset two inches here. So we got two inches of of space there um, on the edge of the stainless steel. Draw a line right down through the middle of this from there to there, and I'm going to offset that one inch. So it goes this way and this way. So I got two inches between the two. All right. Um, I'm going to click trim. Use that as a cutting edge and get rid of that and that. So now we can uh, go ahead and do that fillet. Uh, and we'll add, say, a three-inch radius this time. And oops. So I'll do fillet. I uh, meant to do this. So I'll click radius, three inches. I just did it wrong last time. So I'll go here to here. Right-click. Here to here, right click, repeat these fillets all the way around there, repeat that fillet. Right click, repeat the fillet. Right click. So we're just adding that feature there the whole time. Alright, so then uh, we'll draw a line that goes right across the center. Usually they have a big uh, circle here in, in a sink so they can add things like uh, um, garbage disposals and stuff so we'll put that in there and we'll copy that from this midpoint here to that midpoint there so now we've got our stink sink a stink we've got our sink established um, we can get really fun here there's a dishwasher and a uh, and notice how the countertop goes right over top of that and the TC stands for trash compactor so let's see um, Let's see if they have a dishwasher at Lowe's. Oops, I misspelled it. Dish washer. So, um, let's see. Let's pick a stainless steel one. Um, we're looking for, let's make get a quiet one there. 47 decibels is good. Oh, wow, look at this, 42. Um. Let's, let's look at that one. 
it's a quieter dishwasher. So we'll see.